Psalm 67. Before then, shall we pray? Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Lord and our Father, we worship your majesty. We thank you for this glorious day that you have set our thanks, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for the grace given unto us to be here this morning, that you have set our thanks, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Briefly, we want to examine your word, that you come and speak to us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. That which you have for us this morning, that you let it make it known to us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Open our understanding to your word this morning, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. At the end of today, let us have full cause to glorify your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our text is taken from Psalm 67. From verses 1 to the end. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Oh, let the nation be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. For God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Ki yolong ki o shanu fun wa, ki o si busi fun wa, ki o si shoju re, ki o mone si walara, ki o nore, ki o le di mi mo ni aye, a ti igbala ile ra re, ni bo gbo rile ide, je ki a wen yon ki o yon yon, o lorun, je ki bo gbo en yon ki o yon yon, je ki inu a wori le de ki o dun, ki wan ki o ma kori fun a yon, ni tori ti i wan fi o do do she, da jwe ni yon, i wan o si joba a wori le de ni a ye, je ki a wen yon ki o yon yon, o lorun, je ki bo gbo en yon ki o yon yon, ni gwa nan ni le yo mu, a sun kun re wa, o lorun, o lorun wa ti kare, yo bu si fun wa, o lorun yo bu si fun wa, a ti bo gbo kwen a ye, yo si ma beru re. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, we can see when we entered the new year in January, all of us had requests in mind, things we wanted God to do in our lives, breakthroughs we wanted for our lives and for our families and even our ministry. And many of us have been taking stock. We've been counting our blessings. We've been counting those that have materialized and those that are yet to materialize. We can see some of us are even scoring ourselves. We are having everything we requested done for us. Yet some of us are just having part of it done and still looking up to the Lord. But our God is the God of the suddenlies. We still have few days to the end of this yeah, and our God can still manifest himself in our lives. Opolopo wa la lati shiro ngo gbo ti oluwa ti se fun wa ta si so fun Olorun pe o ti gbe gba roke ninu aye wa opolopo wa na la si wo gbo nkan ti o ti se ti a ri pe o si ku die ta to ko ti se gbo gbo nti a ti bere tan bo te pe ojo ti o ku yi o si tu Olorun lati se ogbo to fe se fun wa So beloved I can assure you that you must remain steadfast because those things that are yet to materialize are still coming to pass. So our topic this morning is titled Delayed Breakthroughs. When we consider those ones that are yet to materialize, that we're still looking up to God for and 
we are sure that our God is more than able to bring them to pass. Our text for emphasis sake will take it from verses 5 to 7. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Ibi kika wa fun atenu mo o wa ni ese karun si ese ikeje je ki awon eniyan ki o yinyo olorun je ki gbogbo eniyan ki o yinyo nigba na ni ile yo ma mu asukun re wa olorun olorun wa ti kara re yo bu si fun wa olorun yo bu si fun wa ati gbogbo opin aye yo si ma beru re This text this passage tells us that there are several categories of blessings Ibi kika yi so fun aye pe ori iruru ipele ni awon ibukun wa to receive blessings from the Lord that would even cause to sh that would shock our enemies or, or make those around us afraid of us we need to continually be in the mood of praise and thanksgiving unto the Lord we can see the apostles of old when the Holy Spirit descended on them, we can see that from the book of Acts, let's open to the book of Acts. From the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 42. Tells us that they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers, and fear came on every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Once it rushes in a quiet one, apostoli, as need a poor, maybe work at in a dura, a receipt by book walk on. You say, Yano, at his shame, who called that your one, apostoli shape. Verse forty seven says, They were praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily as such as should be saved. So we can see the apostles, they understood quietly how to receive from the Lord. They did not mind whether there was any delay or not. They continued steadfastly praising and thanking God. The same thing happened to Paul and Silas when they were in prison. They praised God and gave thanksgiving and suddenly there was an earthquake that shook the foundation of the prison yeah. and God their breakthrough was released unto them so we can see that there are categories of breakthroughs also in the same manner, we also have various categories of breakthroughs. Some breakthroughs are instant. We can receive, the, receive it instantly as in the case of Neman, the leper. Like the case of the lame at the beautiful gate. All these breakthroughs were instant. But there are delayed breakthroughs. That we can see in the case of Abraham. 
We can see that it took 25 years before the breakthrough of Abraham manifested. Let's see that in the book of Genesis. Genesis. The book of Genesis chapter 18. Genesis ori keji ni ogun. From verse 9. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah had it in the tent door which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. And it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself saying, after I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? And the Lord God said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah love, saying, Shall I of a shorty bear his child which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life and Sarah shall have a son lati ese kesan won si bi pe ni boni Sarah ya re wa o si wi pe wo ninu agbo o si wi pe emi o sutu pada to wa ni to to ni wo yi amodun si kiyesi Sarah ya re yo ni omokunrin kan Sarah si gbo ni eno nu agbo ti o wa leyin okunrin na nje Abraham o Sarah gbo won si po ni ojo o si de kan ti ma ri fun Sarah bi iwa obirin nitori na Sarah rerin ninu ara re wi pe leyin igba ti mo di ogologbo tan emi o wa ni ayo ti Oluwa mi ti di ogologbo pelu Oluwa si wi fun Abraham pe nitori kini Sarah se nrerin wi pe emi o wa bi mo ni to to eni to ti gbo tan ohun kan wa ohun kan wa soro fun Oluwa ni akoko ti ada emi o pada to wa ni iwo yi amodun Sarah yo ni si ni omokunrin kan we can see that even though the breakthrough manifested, Abraham tried Abraham to help God by listening to Sarah and taking Haggai. To bear a son Ishmael. Which today it's been the one that has been holding Israel to ransom up till this date. So beloved, even though a breakthrough might be delayed, but we must be careful not to find solutions elsewhere. Because the word of God even tells us that the sorrows as sorrows shall be multiplied for them that go that way. Those that seek other gods shall uh, have their sorrows multiplied. So beloved, it's important that we should wait upon the Lord, just rest upon him and he will surely bring it to pass. Ara mo ro wa wi pe ki aduro di Olorun tori pe ni diduro de yo mu gbogbo wa si mu se fun wa. Joseph happens to be another patriarch that also went through that. Joseph tun je apere miran ni en ti o laru ko won yi koja. He also was promised about his breakthrough very early in life. But he passed through a lot of challenges and Eventually, with the fear of God and commitment to God, his breakthrough manifested. Another 
patriarch was Moses. He at the age of 40 was promised God, he saw God as the deliverer of the Israelites. And God promised to use him to deliver the Israelites from their bondage. But he was so impatient that he did not allow God's plan for his life to materialize. He had to sort his own ways. And through his thoughtless fleshly action, he killed an Egyptian which eventually delayed the breakthrough for another 40 years. Nitori a ile fara bale re nitori pe o n konju o lo gbe igbese ju ileri ti olorun se fun ele to je ko lo si ile Egypt lati lo pa ikan ninu awon omo Egypt ele wa fun ni idaduro fun ogoju odun mi We can see that in the book of Genesis as well 41 verses 38 to 44 we can read that at our own spare time Ale ka ile yi ninu we Genesis ori kokan le ni ogoji we can also see that even though these things were delayed, the children of Israel themselves were not helping matters. They were the chosen people of God. But their hearts were never right with God. So most of the time, they turned away from serving God. And mostly, all the promises from, of God for their lives was always cut short because of their behavior. So it's very important that even if our breakthroughs are delayed, we must remain committed to God. Some believers today, for instance, have their breakthroughs pending. Some for about a period of a year, two, three, 5, 10, 20 years or more, they're still waiting upon God for the manifestation of that breakthrough. All we need to do in this period is to remain committed to God. We should never, never feel that the Lord will not answer our prayers anymore and begin to sort other means. And it's important that we yield all unto God. Everything about ourselves should be yielded unto God. Because sometimes we might be tried. When we say we love God, it's not enough to say it by the word of mouth we must also put it in practice. Because sometimes God might want to prove our commitment to see whether indeed we really mean what we say. There was a man of God, a, a, a man of God, uh, the general overseer that shared his experience with us. He said before he came into, finally came into the ministry full time, he yielded all unto God. And the Lord asked him that it was time to retire and leave his circular work. 
And he retired in obedience to God's word. But luckily, because at the level at which he retired, he earned much gratuity. He was excited about that and decided that he was going to share and invest those gratuity in some places to yield increase unto him. Without consulting God, he went ahead and started the wanting to invest the money. And he had the voice of God and that asked him and said. I thought you have yielded all unto me. How come you are now doing this without my knowledge? He immediately called himself to order. And the Lord asked him to divide that money into three parts. The first one put it into the ministry. And he immediately obeyed. The second one put it into the ministry. He said he became a but he obeyed anyway the third one he showed him who to give it to and he was he, his hands were down he didn't know what to do and the Lord told him that you are now my responsibility you and your household you have nothing to do with that money. He yielded all unto the Lord. And that's the same consecration the Lord is expecting from you and me today. If we said we've given all unto God, we must no part of us must be done in a fleshly act. It is important, therefore, that we must know what are the reasons why some of these breakthroughs are delayed. The first reason is impatience not waiting for the timing of God. We want to have things our own way. We feel that we are losing on time. Time is not on our side. And we want to do it our own way. And at the end of the day, when we do things our own way, the repercussion is not always good. Our God wants to bless us. From the passage we read, we can see that it's all about blessing us. It's his will to bless us, but it has to be his own way. He wants to prosper us, but he has his own part of prosperity. If we do any, if we go any other way apart from that way, then we are delving into the lion's den. The second one, AKG, we can see its trial of faith. 
is as a result of trial of faith. God might want to try us to see how faithful we are. To see how committed we are. And when he does that, and he has proven us, then he will give us that which is our heart's desire. And we can be sure that the wicked one will not be able to snatch it away from us. But if we run ahead of God, we might run into difficulties. Another reason for the delayed breakthrough is as a result of not knowing or learning what is expected of us. When we don't know what is expected of us, we want particular breakthrough, but we do not want to acquire some lessons before these breakthroughs manifest. Because God will never give us anything we cannot manage. He will first of all groom us and put us through certain lessons. So that when this breakthrough comes, we will be able to handle it rightly. We'll see that in the book of Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy 15, 28, 15. The next thing that will cause the delayed Breakthrough is sin. Doubt. And unbelief. Sin. It's a very, very common factor that delays breakthrough. And if we're not careful, we, we might even lose out completely. Like the case of Eli. We find out that in the case of Eli, he was completely denied of priesthood. His lineage was completely denied of the priesthood of Israel. Let's see that in the book of Samuel. First Samuel. First Samuel. The book of First Samuel, chapter two. Samuel, you from verses 27 to 30. And there came a man of God unto Eli and said unto him, Thou dost said the Lord, Did I plainly appear unto the house of thy father when they were in Egypt in Pharaoh's house? And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest? to offer upon my altar, to burn incense, to wear an upward before me. And did I give unto the house of thy father all the offerings made by fire of the children of Israel? Wherefore, kick ye at my sacrifice and at my offering, which I have commanded in my habitation, and honorest thy sons above me, to make yourselves fat, with the chiefest of all the offerings of Israel, my people. Wherefore, the Lord God of Israel said, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever. But now, the Lord said, 
be it far from me. For them that honor me, I will honor. And them that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Any other on Quanto Ediwa, or see if you pay, buy you no lua we, bang back here, me for our high labor barre, make what you want Benigit in the new Pharaoh, Amy Cosignon, Kuro Lani Bobo, Yasha Lati Jalu Fami, Lati Ribolo Pepe, me, Lati Vitu Radijono, Lati Wifold in Wajumi, a Missy Figobo, a Botsi or Messer Lima, Finosun, Fui de Labor Barre, a Shay, Tia Invita Passia Bati or Emmy, Timo Pani, I shall need to call me, it was a Bola Farm or Edumilo. See as if you go go, ah, you have boys really away in your me, more are in Sora. Little Rino, or Lauren Strelly, we pay a meeting minute or talk pay. It did that, it did a barre. You are married, you are doing it, it should bonus is in ye. All why we pay, Kia Marie, I want your bola for me, name your bola for I say, I want to go come and see, now shall I can see. So we can see how Eli lost out because he failed to warn his children when they were going wrong. And we found out that even with us believers today, some of us find it difficult to scold our children when they are going wrong. And these children, we must always remember, do not belong to us. They are, they are gods. And as such, we are only caretakers. We owe it a duty to give, to make God know how we take care of these children. So it's important that when our children are going wrong, we owe it a duty to bring them on the path, on the right path. And sometimes it's not all the times we talk to them and scold them. We can go on our knees and be praying mothers. And ask God that he owns them and he's able to lead them aright and make what he wants out of them. But it's important at the same time that we also are walking right in the sight of God. Because we cannot be telling the child to do one thing and we are doing another thing. We as parents should always strive to live by example. So the next uh, reason for delayed breakthrough is love of the world. This can stand between us and our breakthrough. The love of the world can stand between us and our breakthrough. As is the case of Demas. Second Timothy 4.10 so it's important that in all we do, we do with moderation. So what then should be our attitude when our breakthroughs are delayed? It is important that we re-examine ourselves. And make sure that we don't, there's no shortcomings in our lives. And the moment we do that, we'll, we'll see that the Lord himself will begin to reveal himself in a newer way to us. We should on our path Leave 
a life that is worthy in the sight of God. We must grow in grace. Growing in grace, we must meditate on the word of God on a daily basis. We must live a prayerful life. We must not in any way be hypocritical in all our actions. It is important that we join the workforce while waiting upon the Lord, we should be up and doing for the Lord. It is important that on our path we make sure that all that we need to do to help others on our path, we must strive to do them. To see a brother in need, or, or, if, or a sister in need, we should not wait before we lend a helping hand. Beloved, it is important at this juncture that we examine ourselves and find out is there anything in our lives that have hindered God from manifesting himself fully in all our requests. Olufe, ni akoko ti awa yi, ni ipele ti ade yi, o ye ki a yi arawa wo, ipe, ki ni o no, e to mu ifase yi, abi daduro wa. We are entering a new year now. And lo si odu tutuba yi. It is important that we make our ways right with God. O kondondo ki a ripe, amu ono wa to adi wa ji olorun. We must not have any carryover anymore. A o bodo ripe, atu mu a won kon mi, wo no adu tutun pe luwa. We must settle everything this very year 2013 and enter the new year on a clean slate because the Lord has a lot in store for us he has promised us blessings even with all that is saying that the year ahead of us is going to be a very traumatic year. But the Lord is still promising us, his children, that we will not be part of all that the happenings. But that will only apply to those that are committed to him. So beloved, the fact that we come to church regularly and we sing praises, rejoice in the sight of God does not necessarily mean that our ways are right with him. We can see we can be born again for years and yet be not really having that encounter with the Lord. We see Isaiah as a typical example. He was a born again child of God in his days. He worked for God. We can see him proclaiming woes upon Israel, doing all that God wanted him to do, but yet he still was not right with God. But the day he discovered himself, he had that personal encounter with God, his life was totally transformed. So beloved, I am admonishing us that this is another opportunity to take a good reflect of our lives and see where and where we're still lacking and ask God to mend us and bring us in the right standing with him. 
Olufe, mo nro wa, mo n gba wa niyanju, wi pe ke yara wa wo, ki a wo bi ti atikuna, ki a si le ise ni titọ ni waju Olorun. And I can assure you the Lord all our hanging blessings our blessings that are yet to materialize will come to pass in Jesus name. Before we go let us go to the Lord in prayer and pray and ask God that in his infinite mercy all our shortcomings that have deprived us of our breakthroughs or that have brought about delays in our breakthroughs that God in his mercy in his mercy would remove all those hindrances on our path and bring our breakthroughs to materialization Shall we rise up and pray for pray It's not all the blessings that are true sin. There could be some that heaven is aware of. That God himself is purposely delaying to prove himself in our lives. Those ones who will ask God to have his way in our lives and bring them to materialization at his own time. Lord, let us pray and ask God, let's examine our lives and see which area of our lives that we are still not yielding totally unto him. Which areas of our lives we are still very hypocritical? We'll say one thing and we are doing another thing. We'll just ask God that in his mercy, he will redeem us and put us in right standing with him. Let us pray, Lord. Let us Let's commit ourselves to the hand of God. <coughs> we need to cry unto the Lord for concerning all the uh, weak areas in our life. That is all areas of weaknesses where the devil has been shooting us. You are you have been to be disobedient to the word of God. And this has been hindering all the promises of God in our life. Please don't justify yourself when God has not justified you. This is the right time to call upon the Lord. Say, Lord, this is my, this is uh, all my weaknesses. Maybe one, two, three, or four, or more than that. Just say that, Lord. Maybe stubbornness in our life. Maybe, maybe anger. 
may be pride or high madness whatever it is you know all your weaknesses let's pour our heart up to the Lord right now and we hear from heaven and gather to us the power and the grace to begin to live above sin and to please him in all our ways Let's Rakurka Shiriko Sokoba, Rakurka Tairiko Sokoba, Yeriko Sokoba, Korka Shiriko Eriko <laughs> Rakurka Tai Kosu, Eriko Sul Bakurka Shida. Ah, Raku Bakari Kusoko Shida. Eriko Soko Bakurka Shida. Rakurka Shiriko Soko. Rakurka Shiriko Soko. Rakurka Shiriko Soko. O Bakarka Shiriko Soko Bashida. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I beseech you with mercy of God. I want all to add C to our C this morning. We want us to pray through. This is very, very important. And Psalm 66, verse, verse 18 says, You know where Ori Davidi, Ori 66, verse 18, Ori Davidi, Ori Kennedy, Adori says, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. This month, you remember that God said we should take time to bless Him very well. To take time to appreciate Him very well. Because he said he had done a lot for us this year. Isn't it? We, we are all witness to what God has been doing in our life, in our family, and in our in all our gardens. In, uh, in all, I mean, the, uh, the weekly services and also Sunday worship services. He said we should bless him very well. But if there is anything that he, uh, uh, God, if, if there is anything that we do 
that, go, that, that the devil has been accusing us. This praise and worship will not be accepted before, before him. That is, whatever that hinder your prayer will also hinder your sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Unto so, the Lord. Amen. Amen. Whatever we are doing, Satanity whatever we are doing that the devil is using to accuse us as sin uh, it will not hinder our prayers alone but it will be hindering the sacrifice of praise that we always give unto the Lord and as this year is running to an end it is I, be, I, you, I you to see it as a time of uh, reflection that is uh, a time we ought to call a solemn assembly to reflect concerning your past doings, especially right from the beginning of this year to this present day, that as we shall enter the new year, we should uh, start a new year with what? With renewed commitment unto the Lord, isn't it? And it will be very sad if we should have if we should have a carryover this year. It will be very sad. Especially as we have the opportunity in this assembly. To uh, to uh, hear the I mean the undiluted gospel from time to time in, in Sunday school in, in in seminar teachings and all the rest and yet you see have a carryover that is that is a weak area in your life you do you fail to work on it that's the area of weakness to work on it and carry it over to the new year it will be very very sad very very sad. And God will not be pleased. You join with Banuja to be in your nile shishale, bobobiti, in your tinkuno, lori eshe. Then your nile shishale, come and add me plusi or do don't go. You join with Banuja to be in your lawn. You do be kagbe on kwe eshe. That will be what or do to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. Hallelujah, come. If you are sure you are not sleeping, shout one hallelujah. I want to soon. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am so fan fanatical in this area. I prefer that Lord does not give me any material thing during the, this uh, season. Where yellow tide season or whatever you call this. Yeah, Christmas, I mean, what do you call it? New Year's season. I prefer it, if it, to, I mean, it doesn't do anything for me in the area of material things rather than have a carryover. That is, immediately I enter the new year and God will just accuse me, say, ah, this boy, this, my son, you still carry over this, your, this, your anger, your malice, your bitterness in the heart, your unforgiving spirit, uh, backbiting, but if God immediately enter the new year, despite that I even I even find it difficult to eat. And God said, My son. Ah, I appreciate you. Ah, I for your uh for your 
for your faithfulness and loyalty unto me. Because you strive to draw closer to me than before. And I appreciate you for this. I prefer that than, than, than uh, celebrating billions of dollars, whatever you call it. Because the secret there is that you cannot draw closer to God and be poor or lack any good thing. That is the secret. To be able to go to a talaka and go to a talaka and go God cannot say, my son, you have drawn closer to me than before, but pray very well so that the idea will not kill you. Allah will say, okay, I'm on me, oh, this is what you are doing, you are not going to ask me, what did I go, but rather that I can't get my back, I'll go to bed. Am I right? Shabbat shalom. For God to commence your closeness to him, your true and you, your, your true cost, commitment to him and, and then say, say ah ya gba do adada nu odo to se bo si awon a je won ti tun la nu le o me wa fi awe kun awe o tori pe awon a je won ti tun la nu o bo te ye ko ti sumo mi juta ten wa lo so pe awon a je won yi won won ti tun gbagbara o se be ni e da mi lohun no be mi se mo bi be li temi ni yen omi o mo eyin ti ologe an that's the way that's the way that's 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 doesn't know what the theologians are saying concerning this. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. If you can receive that commendation from God, it's far preferable by becoming billions during the, the new year and God say, be watchful. Okay. Otherwise, I will, I, will, I will pull you away. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. And therefore, within a few minutes, because we still want to bless God, according to his instruction given to us for this month, but within a few minutes, we want to go before the Lord. Say, Lord, I don't want to carry over. I beseech you. Have mercy on me. Give me the power and the grace to live above sin. To draw closer to you than before. Because I want to begin to live. I mean, I, I, to, to have greater testimony in the new year. Because if you don't draw closer to him, there is no way you can have a greater testimony in the new year. No way. No, it's not by prayer alone as I used to emphasize. No, 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 not by prayer alone. Say, Lord, make me the, great, uh, the greatest. Make me a billionaire, not prayer alone. But what? True commitment, total commitment to his will. Rise up and pray that prayer aggressively. To 